Hey guys, this is Cody Cox with Trinity National Holdings, and I'm uh, taking a little break out of the office in between rainstorms here. It's a typical spring day uh, in Oregon here. I'm down in Salem at the state capitol and walking up to the state capitol because there's a, a hearing that I might want to sit on that's going to talk about uh, state agencies and liquidating real estate property that they've acquired through their own foreclosure processes. So it's kind of interesting, kind of pertinent to what I do, uh, both to my day job and also uh, as a note investor. Uh, but I'm kind of in between rainstorms right now, and it kind of made me remember that when I was a, a, a kid, uh, we used to get these blue canisters of, of smort and salt. And I remember staring at that label, and uh, on that label was always this little girl with an umbrella and these words there that I never could understand. It always said, when it rains, it pours. You know, and I'm just a simple mortgage guy from Eastern Oregon, and I, I really didn't understand what that was as a kid. Then all of a sudden it dawned on me that, you know, when it does rain, that salt still does pour. And I kind of see that the same way uh, in the mortgage business, in the, in the promissory note business, is that when it rains, it pours. And, and what that means to me is that, uh, you know, whenever I get down and start looking at notes and start looking at uh, tapes and digging in and getting deeper, then all of a sudden more things start happening, more stuff starts uh, coming my way. There's more notes. And as I was talking to an investor, potential investor earlier today, uh, you know, I told him I've got about 500 different assets on my desk right now for me to go through and not try and narrow that 500 you know down to about 30 or and then down to another handful that I can deal with and so uh and, and it kind of brings me to this story I want to tell which is kind of interesting because there is a lot of product out there and it's a great time for you as a as an as a uh, investor to work with me on a on a passive basis to invest in some of these properties here right at the end of uh February I acquired a note at 915 Henry Street in Michigan City, Indiana. Now, if you went and looked at Lake Michigan right at the bottom of it, if you went right to the bottom of Lake Michigan and went two inches over the right, that's where Michigan City is, just below the Indiana-Michigan border. And so uh, we bought this. Uh, it was worth about seventy-three to seventy-six thousand dollars. We paid about forty-eight cents on the dollar to acquire that. And uh, this was 100% funded by one of my, uh, my uh, joint venture partners. And uh, so what's interesting in that is we thought that we weren't sure that the house was occupied. So we went into it with the intent that we were going to try and rehab the borrower, find a way to get them back on track, start the payment stream again, and try and save that mortgage uh, for that homeowner. Uh, the BPOs all said that they couldn't tell. The drive-by real estate agent that I sent by, they couldn't tell either. So we thought it probably was owner-occupied, but we weren't sure. And so we went ahead and purchased the asset. We got it set up with a servicer. And I had a good buddy of mine from Elkhart, Indiana, take his wife to dinner. They drove over there and, and found out that the house, in fact, is vacant. It had been vacant for a while. And uh, so we were going to start the procedure uh, to pursue a foreclosure. And what happened after that is in contacting the attorney, the attorney found out that the prior note owner had already started foreclosure on this thing here back in December. So what that means to us is we're just going to substitute right in where that previous lender was. We've gained three months on this foreclosure process, which means I'm able to return these funds with a great profit right back to that original investor who helped me fund this profit, uh, this property. So, you know, instead of a typical 12-month timeline, we're three months into this thing here. And so I'm going to be able to return the funds for this to this investor in about nine months. Hey, I've got a new website standing up, too. It'll be fully operational within a week. Uh, but there's some parts of it right now, so I encourage you to go there. It's at www.trinitynationalholdings.com or get a hold of me here on Facebook. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.